Now this summer is looking crazy as hell and we only just begun. Declan Rice's deal looks completely off now. I don't think he's going to join Man City. What? I would have given this like a 25% probability of happening a couple days ago, last week even, and... It looks to me that yeah, he's going to go to Arsenal. He wants to join Arsenal. He wants to uh, join the project there. I, I mean, when I saw reports that he wanted to stay in London, for me, I believe those reports, and it's looking likely to be true. But I just went on Twitter, and I saw this. Fabrizio Romano tweeted that Manchester City and Yasko Gavardiol have agreed personal terms. Oh my Grealish. <laughs> Look, I'm going to get straight to the point. This is a short video. I'm going to get straight to the point. Is he worth 100 million euros? Absolutely not. Okay. They want to make... Uh, RB Leipzig want Gavardio to be the most expensive center half in the history of football. Come on, man. I don't think Man City should go for him for 100 million. I think it's a better investment to not do that. Spend the money elsewhere into the midfield and just keep Laporte for this season and use some of that money and try and persuade Bernardo Silva. I think that would be incredibly smart business by Manchester City Football Club. I'm not saying I know more than the club. Look, I know some of you might be frustrated that we're losing out to some of these big targets, Rice and possibly even Govardio, if Leipzig won't accept anything less than 100 million. But just remember that we had players like Alexis Sanchez, Harry Kane, and Jorginho. I remember we were going for Jorginho when he was in Italy and all these players and, and Koulibaly. We missed out on all of these players and we turned out just fine. So, like I said, I don't know better than my club. It's just for entertainment purposes. Gavardiol, in my opinion, is worth like 65 to 75 million euros. Okay, maybe 80 at most. Okay, but they want 85 million pounds, which is like which is like 100 million euros. So, if we do sell Laporte for around 40 million and then we spend like and then it's like a net spend of like 50 million, 60 million for Gavardiol. You know what? Because we got around 300 million, 294 million pounds of uh, prize money from winning the treble, this wouldn't be a bad place to put the money, right? And I know I'm speaking very lightly because it is Gavardio. He was one of the best center halves of the tournament until Lionel Messi put his ass on skates. But regardless, Gavardio is a left footed center back. It is a clear, it's an amazing replacement for Eimerick Laporte. Gavardio is strong. He has his eyes for goal. Something he scored against us in Leipzig in the knockout stages of the Champions League. Remember that? He was absolutely amazing that game. Not so much in the second leg when we beat them 7 0, but Gavardio has proven that he can get to those big moments and he can deliver in big moments. He just needs to do that more consistently. And I think under the leadership of Pep Guardiola, we can definitely develop him into a very good ball retention, ball playing type of center half. I mean, I don't want Nathan Ake to be benched, but but if we do get this signing, I mean, I could see a lineup of Ake, Gavardio, Ruben Diaz, and John Stones playing that inverted role with Rodri. Obviously, Akanji is being benched. I don't want that to happen because Akanji is a sensational player. He's a big game player. He was amazing in the Champions League, scored a goal against Real Madrid. I mean, he, he was the one who played that ball to Bernardo Silva that gave us that Champions League trophy. So remember that. He is a fantastic player. Only 15 million for him. And Govardio is going to be a hundred million. So let me know what y'all think of this transfer. I I give this around a uh, I'm gonna be absolutely realistic here. I, I'm gonna give this a 40% chance, 45% chance of happening. The only reason is yes, we agreed on personal terms, but any any club can do that with literally any football player, but I think the 100 million price is going to scare Man City away. We don't bid on players that don't want to come to Man City. It's it's precisely the reason why we didn't bid for Declan Rice. So let me know what y'all think. Gavardio with Man to Man City with Laporte going out. I think that's a good transaction because if we can, it's like a net 40, net 50 million spend. If that happens, if we can sell Laporte, there's no reason to buy him for 100 million and retain Laporte. So if, if we do buy him, oh, Laporte is 100% leaving. So. Let me know what y'all think of this transfer. Govardio to Manchester City.